GameFi, ZKU, DEX Aggregator, and Infrastructure Updates on this week's episode of the Harmony One Weekly. Let's begin. GameFi partnerships, exciting new ZK projects from Harmony ZK University, a new DEX aggregator, and key infrastructure updates on this episode of the Harmony One Weekly. Be sure to hit the like and subscribe buttons for more weekly episodes and comment below to let us know what you'd like us to cover. Let's get started. Our first ecosystem highlight comes in the form of porting a popular Ethereum-based game, Dark Forest. For those unfamiliar with the name, Dark Forest is a space conquest game that is built on Ethereum and uses zero-knowledge proofs to validate in-game moves. Players explore space to discover and conquer planets in an infinite, procedurally generated and cryptographically specified universe. Behind the Dark Forest port is Kosik Rajesh, a computer science major at the Indian Institute of Technology, Gwadi, India, and Tosin Shada, a software engineer at a leading bank in Africa. Both members are teaching assistants at Harmony's Zero Knowledge University. Team member Tosin announced that ZKDAO members will be able to participate in the test port June 18, 2022. As Dark Force originated on Ethereum, the team is excited to see it get a strong use case through Harmony's low gas costs and two-second finality. Harmony is establishing a partnership with a publisher whose founder is a 26-year veteran of the gaming industry. With credentials to his resume that include being one of the first developers of the Madden and Street Fighter franchises. He will serve along our expanding roster of industry veterans, bringing exciting titles to Harmony, as well as being a mentor to up and coming Web3 game developers in the Harmony ecosystem. The next highlight from our ZK University is a dApp that enables users to trade private data through zero knowledge. NFT real-world applications are incredibly powerful tools in demonstrating the authenticity and ownership of your items. ZK Photo works to further the photography ownership initiative through the use of downsizing minted images to a low resolution quality while allowing the owner to keep a high resolution quality. Through the zero knowledge application, it creates a cryptographic hash linking the low res image and the original, allowing the owner to verify the original ownership and the authenticity of the NFT. The team identifies two real world use cases. The first is enabling mobile photography NFT minting for all users. Individuals will be able to utilize their cell phone camera to mint the NFT, removing all the barriers to participants. The second is focusing on privacy and removing the public's ability to simply screenshot or download an image, therefore challenging the ownership of an NFT. We have seen the potential of non-fungible tokens and are seeing the development of real-world use cases for this technology. And this is now possible through the hard work of the ZK Photo team and the Zero Knowledge technology on Harmony. Harmony decentralized exchanges are getting another boost with the integration of OpenOcean. While there are many different aggregators in the blockchain space, only OpenOcean brings together centralized and decentralized exchanges. Working with Binance, OpenOcean connects users to 14 different chains, such as Ethereum, Binance Smart Chain, Solana, Polygon, and more. We're thrilled to have Harmony added to the list of partners integrating with OpenOcean platform. The platform operates on two interfaces depending on which the action the user chooses to utilize. The first is the GoSwap interface for users wanting to swap tokens on decentralized exchanges only. Simply connect your MetaMask wallet to the platform, select your pairs, users can see the price, and you can execute the trade. The second is called GoAdvanced. This shows users the spread on both centralized and decentralized exchanges. And after registering with OpenOcean, you can trade quickly and easily. Through identifying the most efficient swaps for traders, OpenOcean's algorithm optimizes key factors when determining the best route, which include price, gas fee, slippage, and routing in order to bring maximized results to traders. OpenOcean's dApp is free to use and users only have to pay the low gas fees on Harmony and exchange fees when conducting trades. Over the course of the last year, Harmony has onboarded numerous wallet partners for new community members to quickly and easily get a start in the ecosystem. With Harmony now supporting five new wallets and more being added throughout the year, the Harmony community has an ever-expanding choice of where and how they securely store their digital assets. We've linked to a number of items below and we'll keep you posted as more wallets are added to our ecosystem. 
the community ran a meme contest led by community member Jerome. The meme contest circulated the Harmony community and featured, well, socks. Check out the highlight reel on Harmony's new TikTok account. We're holding a giveaway to celebrate the meme, so follow us on TikTok, like the post, and comment your size, small or large, for a chance to win. We have a pinned comment below with the instructions. The team released Harmony's quarter three and quarter four execution plan, outlining specific areas where the team is aiming to reduce operational expenses in this difficult market. Three areas of focus are Dow funding, events, and inbound grants. These changes went into effect on June 15th, as the team is focusing its efforts on providing high impact deliverables, such as the Elastic RPC infrastructure, strategic partnerships, the launch of the Ethereum trustless bridge, and cross-shard messaging. Ranjan Lan has submitted the first part of the code to upgrade the existing crosslink feature, decoupling it with the beacon chain synchronization. This is only the first part of the code for the crosslink heartbeat signal feature. This feature lets Shard Zero validators broadcast the latest crosslinks that they received from other shards. This basically lays the foundation for the possibility to remove the dependency of Beacon Chain, Shard Zero, for validators in Shard 1, 2, or 3. Jinya Piskunov continued to develop and build the code for relayers within Harmony Trustless Ethereum Bridge. On top of relayers, he continued to develop the front end dashboard as well as the back end application that will track the bridged events and collect statistics for metrics. Relayers are a critical component of the upcoming bridge and are run by community members who earn rewards for their part in securing the bridge. Through continued efforts to deploy our Elastic RPC network, the team is now redirecting 50% of traffic to API.harmony.1. We're pleased with this process so far and are looking forward to the full deployment of our Elastic RPC in the near future. Stay tuned for more updates. That wraps up this week's One Weekly. If you like this content, please be sure to like and subscribe, and don't forget to share our videos. If you have any questions, head over to Harmony's Talk Forum at talk.harmony.one, or join our online social media channels on Twitter, Reddit, Telegram, or Discord. Thanks for being part of the Harmony community. I hope you found this video helpful. Stay tuned next week for more updates on all things Harmony in the One Weekly.